we are at number five, um, Anglesey Close. So this property, we are not gonna show you downstairs this week just because they've blocked up the windows front and back. Um, so it's really dark and we can't really see it very well. We tried it on a different vlog with another property that's the same case. Um, and we did it, but I think we'll probably just wait it. until seen it yeah, anyway. we'll wait until the, the, there's light downstairs. We'll show you that. So we're going to show you upstairs where all the stub work is up, and obviously they're starting to board plasterboard up as well. Um, so, like the other property, this one the walls were too thin, so they've had to rebuild all of the walls upstairs. Um, so they've basically put them back where we were putting them, um, but obviously with thicker walls. So that's one bedroom, two bedroom. Um, you can see also they've put in all the, all the cabling, all the electrics, the plumbing and whatnot is going in. And they've started to plasterboard. So this bedroom, that bedroom, one other bedroom shares this bathroom. Ah, so if you've been following the other vlog, which is the carbon copy of this one, basically this is the next stage. So the other one had this open, but you could see the stud work where this has been built in. So this is obviously the where, oh, I don't want to fall down a hole. Oh, um, so this is where the slant over the stairs goes. So obviously you can't really use it for anything. So what we decided is we we're going to build a wall here, which can house all of the plumbing, plumbing work, all the, um, all the pipes for the shower is in here. Um, and then we've got a nice big walk-in shower here which we had to block up the window so it doesn't get all wet and moldy and whatnot so we've got a smaller window in here now and um, to have a nice big shower um so yeah so you can kind of see how it's taking shape obviously with all the plasterboard and whatnot in so we go to the next bit so again these are going to be nothing very much these are just cupboards um there's not much change there just showing this bedroom Boarded. Flip it round. I'm trying to hold the camera as steady as possible without <laughs> having a gimbal or whatever. No, that's been so, some feedback. This is the third bedroom that I mentioned that's showing that bathroom. So again, it doesn't look like there's much, but there is with all the cabling, all the points where everything goes. You can see where it starts to build up. Um, so see a radiator going there. And then if you come through into the biggest bedroom, this is the one that's got its own ensuite, which again, unlike the other one where it's all open, this one starts to be being, to be boarded up so you can actually see what you know what it's gonna look like a bit better in terms of the sizing so this is the ensuite so we've got a nice i think from memory this is a thousand shower a thousand wide shower tray kind of with the depth of it off the top of my head um so that's here we've obviously got a toilet and a basin um in here so it's going to have its own its own um ugh, what I forgot what i was saying sorry it's going to have its own ensuite nice big bedroom here um like I said in the other one, we're kind of dictated by this middle wall, by these window positions, so it has to go directly along here. Um, but no, it's going to be a really nice, really nice room and a really nice house, um, I think, at the end of it all. So, yeah, it's a bit of a short update because we're only showing you half a house this time, but I hope that was useful. I um, hope you enjoyed seeing half an update, and we will see you next week. <laughs> You're going to come back to me? Yeah. We're going to see you next week, so have a good one. See you later. Bye.